Welcome to our second tutorial. We have some pretty exciting news. We actually just got 64 nodes in total set up and uh, all wired up. Not actually powered on right now, but we're going to set them up and image them in the next couple days. So that's pretty exciting. But uh, in this uh, second tutorial, I just wanted to talk about uh, basically how our network works. It's pretty simple. We have a, an access point up here, and we got a router here. And then down here, we have a couple different switches. And the router uh, hooks up to the, both uh, the internet and it hooks up to all of our switches on this cable. Uh, the console uh, port over here allows us to configure the router here uh, using a terminal that we have over there. Basically what it does is uh, it assigns IPs to all of the Raspberry Pis and uh, all of the computers that are connected to the router and it also helps to route traffic from the Raspberry Pis to the internet. The switches allow us to hook up all of the Raspberry Pis, seeing as how we have a, a large amount of them, to the router to receive IPs and to communicate with each other. Switches are a little bit less smart in a, in a sense than routers are, uh, meaning that they don't actually assign addresses, they more sort of pass messages along where they're supposed to go. Uh, and try to avoid any sort of collision. Linux is an operating system that was invented in the early 90s by a guy called Linus Torvalds. And uh, he wanted to make a, an operating system that sort of could compete on the same level as Unix, which was a commercial operating system back then. And in many ways, they have, much, they have far surpassed Unix in terms of relevance these days. It's a Unix like operating system versus Windows, the biggest difference between Unix and Windows could be summed up in one thing. Unix views everything as a file, meaning your CD-ROM is actually just a file on your file system. It's kind of weird, but it makes a lot of sense in some ways because you could literally just open your CD drive in any program because it's a file. Whereas Windows sort of arbitrarily limits you in some ways. So Linux is a very powerful operating system. All of the Raspberry Pis run uh, Debian currently. Uh, there are only a couple different types of Linux operating systems available for Raspberry Pis, but Debian is a pretty logical choice seeing as how Debian is actually one of the Linux operating systems with the most amount of programs available. Debian uses a package manager called uh, apt, which allows us to download programs that we might need on our Raspberry Pis from the internet directly and then install them very easily without having to do a whole lot of manual compiling. If we wanted to install a program that is manually compiled, we could create our own package and then send it off to all of the Raspberry Pis using a file server such as FTP. And seeing as how it's open source, it's a perfect choice for us in this project. Thanks for watching and hope you stay tuned for more videos about our up-and-coming supercomputer and uh, all the cool projects we're doing with it.